Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about products I regret buying. I post a video in my regret series every single month here on my channel, so I will have my playlist linked down below. I talk about products I regret buying, I don't regret buying, I don't regret not buying, I regret not trying sooner, etc. So my playlist will be down there in case you're interested, but today's video is all about products that I purchased that I just regret buying. So why don't we go ahead and get started. So first up, this product. I was so excited about, I was so just like sure that it was gonna be great for me. Like you know when you have that, that you're just like, I know that this is gonna work and it's gonna be perfect and we're gonna fall in love. And it didn't happen and uh, wow, the betrayal, <laughs> the betrayal is real on this one. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the lipstick in Kim KW. I purchased this off of Beautylish and it was $34. <laughs> $34 for a lipstick is very, very pricey. I love lipsticks. I pay a lot of money for lipsticks. Uh, but it really stings when you pay that much for a lipstick and it doesn't end up working on you. Because this really, to me, I tried it so many times and I just really cannot wear it. Uh, so this is what Kim KW looks like. And then there is a swatch for it right there. I mean, you can see it is a very, very pale nude. Um, like a pale pinky nude. It's, it is very, very light. But... I can wear lipsticks like this, I can pair them with a lip liner, I can pair them with a gloss and it'll be fine, but something about this lipstick, like the formula, just does not work on my lips. The color could definitely play into it, but the actual formula, when I put it on, I do have dry lips and it just emphasizes everything about my dry lips. And if I have like flaky lips going on, you can like count the number of flakes I have on my lips when I wear this. It's just, it's not attractive. It does this really weird like wearing away thing on the like center of my lips even as I'm just applying it. It's like it doesn't want to stick to that area of my lips. <sighs> it's really, it's really upsetting. And this was one of those that I thought for sure. I was like, I'm definitely going to love this one. So I didn't even consider keeping the receipt for Beautylish. And then once I realized, because I kept trying it too. Like I tried it once and I was like, not so good. And the first time I tried it, I did it for like, I was filming an Instagram tutorial and people were like, girl, that lipstick really didn't look good on you. I was like, it's fine. I'm gonna make it work. Nobody panic. And I just kept trying and I kept trying all these different ways. And like, my lips aren't always super, super dry. Like I go through times where they're fine. And so I kept holding on to it for that time when my lips wouldn't be super dry. Cause I was like, maybe they'll be fine then. And so I, I, I went through that time recently. My lips weren't doing too bad. And I pulled this out and I tried it again. I was like, still no good. So I've had it now for a really long time, but I just, that was how determined I was to make this work for me. So now I don't even think I could return it to Beautylish if I wanted to, but I was just determined, determined to love this. And I didn't. I gave it every chance though, man. I gave it every chance, okay? Alrighty, so next up, the next item I want to talk about is one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is one of her blush trios, and this is in Pool Party. So these trios are $30. You can find them on Sephora and also Ulta. I did get mine on sale. I believe it was $21 when I purchased it, and I honestly can't remember if I got it from Ulta or Sephora. I truly can't remember. I think they went on sale on both sides at the same time. And I don't know. I know that these were just included in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, but I included them in my video, and I said they're just really nothing super special to me. This one is in Pool Party. I know a couple people commented and said you really like your trios, um, you know, maybe to try a different color, but truly, honestly, I have a ton of face palettes. I have a ton of blush palettes I have a ton of blush singles so it really wasn't necessary for me to go out and purchase another one just to try different colors especially if this one just didn't blow me away because I like the colors in here I like that we have a very very neutral blush um, and I like that we have a more neutral blush with a little bit more of pink to it this middle shade I really don't use at all it's um, it's more of a hotter pink and it has some gold shimmer in it but you know getting two shades I was like I wouldn't mind that and when I put the colors on, they do look really nice on the skin, but I do feel like they fade pretty quickly. And it was just over time, even when I just got it, I just found myself reaching for so many different blushes or blush palettes that this one was getting like buried and buried and buried to the point where when I talked about this in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, I was like, I don't even know where that trio is. I had to find it. It was like shoved in a drawer in the back and it truly had dust on top of it. Like that was how long it had been sitting there being unused for me. So... I don't like they were okay but it was just nothing that I was like woo so I'm glad that I got this one on sale but still I mean I paid $21 for a product that I'm not reaching for so bummer <laughs> know what I'm saying all right so next up I have this one is from MAC Cosmetics this is their fix plus their matte fix plus so this was one where I just feel like I 
I've, I feel like I fell into the hype on this one. I love Fix Plus from MAC Cosmetics. I've gone through several full sizes myself. I have another full size in my drawer. I have a full size of the lavender scented one and I absolutely love that. I've had minis of the Fix Plus. Like, I love Fix Plus. It's been one of my favorite setting sprays forever. I think it was my first ever purchase from MAC Cosmetics and I was so proud of myself for purchasing the Fix Plus and I think it was a lip liner at the same time very proud of that purchase and so when they came out with the matte version and people were so excited and I was like yes this is gonna be great I mean I have dry skin I don't really deal with looking overly dewy or oily a lot in my life so I feel like I just kind of like fell into this hype of like I need that one too and um, I really don't but at the same time I just didn't really notice that this was doing anything I think to me it's more just like a regular fix plus I didn't notice doing it anything for mattifying and there was even days where, like, I had this one on me a lot in the summer because times that we were going out um, and I was outside for a long time and I noticed myself maybe looking a little bit more, like, dewy or mm, sweaty, perhaps. Uh, I was grabbing this one out because I was like, I really want to put this to the test. I really want to be able to tell people, like, yes, it made my foundation look more matte. It, like, instantly cleared up my skin and maybe it looks so much better. It really didn't do that. And so... <laughs> I'm still going to use this and I'm probably still going to use it up. I just think for the actual matte part of it, I just didn't notice that enough. Now maybe if you have very oily skin, I, maybe you'll see this doing something for you and maybe just I was a really bad person to buy this because I don't necessarily need mattifying setting sprays in my life. Uh, but the reason why I feel like I'm upset with myself is because like I said, I have full sizes of Fix Plus in my drawer. Like, I didn't need another one. Will I still use this? Yes. I'm just probably not using it a ton. Um, and I also felt like you really do have to, sh I mean, you do have to shake it really well. And you can tell just by looking at it, you do need to shake it. But you can kind of get those water droplets on your face too, which I really can't stand. And the Fix Plus, um, anytime I use Fix Plus, I've never had that issue. I've only had the issue with the matte one. So those are kind of my thoughts about the Fix Plus. I just feel kind of like silly. You know, like I just feel silly that I have it. Uh, okay, so then another one here. This is another lip product. This is from Too Faced. It's the one of their Melt It Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I just touched on this one kind of recently, so I'll try to um, speed through this part. But I was upset with this one because I have a mini of the Too Faced Melt It Matte in Queen Bee. It came in like one of the lip sets. And I love it. I love the color. I like the formula. I think it was really great. So um, Too Faced was actually having a deal where I think it was buy one, get one free for a bunch of their different lip products, including these melted mattes. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get another one because I really do um, like my Queen Bee. So like, why not get another shade? And so I purchased this one in Feeling Myself. And it's uh, more of like a peachy lipstick. But this lipstick, like what I really regret is not trying it before I decided to wear it to a wedding and having my lips look terrible the entire night. So there's a swatch of what Feeling Myself looks like. It's a really nice peachy color. It was beautiful for, you know, spring, summer. It looked great with the dress that I paired for this wedding. It was, a, I mean, a very similar color to this with flowers on it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm feeling myself right now. And then within like five minutes of wearing the lipstick, I was like, oh my gosh, what is wrong with my lips? Why do they look like that? They, it was so drying and my lips just looked terrible. And having dry lips and then putting on a really dry liquid lipstick, I was like, what is happening here? And then I tried to put a gloss over it and then the gloss was like not mixing with the liquid lipstick and then it was getting on my teeth and I was like, I regret my life choices right now. Why is this happening? You know, it was like a very dramatic thing. I'm just kidding, it wasn't that dramatic. But I was just like, dang, that sucks. And so I, I just have another one of these lipsticks and um, that's a bummer. I actually tried to go to Ulta to exchange this for a different color because I was like, I don't know, maybe more of like a regular nude would not be as bad on me. And the, the woman would not let me exchange this for a different color. First, she tried to say that it was uh, over 60 days purchased. It wasn't. It was not even a month. <laughs> I... Was it a month? It was not even over a month for sure. It was not over a month. And so when I said that to her too, she said that she couldn't exchange it because I didn't have the email receipt, even though I had the physical receipt. She said she needed the email receipt. And I was like, what? I was like, I'm just trying to exchange a color. What's happening here? But she wouldn't let me do it. So I still got feeling myself. There she is. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, and then the final product is one that I actually did return, and Sephora did let me return it. That's the Mini Lila palette. We'll touch on this one briefly as well because I did uh, recently review it because I hauled it and then I tried it out in a new try, try new makeup video, and I always come back to review the products. But I definitely regret that one because it gave me an extreme eye irritation. Uh, in case you missed my videos, I know sometimes. Definitely, especially for like wrap-up videos like this, um, things can get a little bit repetitive, but I totally understand that not everybody watches every single video. I post six videos a week, so I know for sure that not everybody can watch every video. Um, and so, especially when I'm doing kind of like a wrap-up like this, I do still like to include the products that did or didn't or, you know, whatever it may be work out for me because someone might have missed that review video, if that makes sense. But it gave me really bad eye irritation um, when I did it. Within a couple hours of me wearing it the first time, like, my eyes were horrible. I could barely open them. And then even the next morning, they were like crusted shut. They hurt so bad. Uh, and I figured out it, that it was the mini Lila palette that it was doing, or Lila palette, mini Lila, I think it's Lila, the mini Lila palette that was doing it to me. Um, and I was super disappointed. It was only $25, so it wasn't the most expensive eyeshadow that I've ever purchased. Uh, and like I said, I was able to return it to Sephora, um, so that was great. But really my biggest regret was like how bad my eyes were. And then I had to try it again to make sure it was this palette because I was also trying a mascara at that same time. So I had to try them separately to see what was doing it and I thought for sure it was the mascara so I tried the palette first and then it happened all over again and I was like why <laughs> so that's my big big regret there but unfortunately that one didn't work out for me either so I don't know I have the mini sunset palette from Natasha Denona and that one didn't cause me any issues but unfortunately uh, I did have to go ahead and return the mini Lila palette so kind of a bummer I wish I didn't have to go through that experience but at least I was able to get my money back for the palette so I don't know that's nice, I guess. But on that note, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Okay, so that is everything for today's video, talking over some recent products that I've purchased that I regret buying for one reason or another. I feel like it's kind of all over the place with today's video, but those are the reasons why the products didn't work out for me and why I regret purchasing them. Uh, I would love to know in the comments down below, have you purchased something recently that you just regret buying for one reason or another? Let us know in the comments. But if you guys did enjoy this video, you like the regret series, make sure to give this one a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video.